Hi friends, good morning and happy weekend to everyone around the world. And I want to make a good morning video to send out positive vibes uh, first and foremost and to wish us all a great day or a great evening wherever you are. And I want to share two tips, two rather simple tips that can really enhance the quality of life and that can really prime you for success. Um, if you apply them and you consider them. Um, so the first one is when you have a goal or you have a plan or something that you want to accomplish, before setting out on your journey or before starting out your new endeavor or project, it's really important to research. And research is something that we don't often hear about um, in terms of self-development or self-empowerment or uh, personal uh, development, um, but it's really critical as a foundational piece to anything that we want to accomplish. And it's about research. And basically, when you identify something that you care about or that you want, you want to dig into that area and you want to investigate it so that you can understand what are all the factors that exist that will impact your ability to um, execute your plans, what people have done that has worked and what has not worked, what are the current trends, what are other people's experiences. If you're thinking of embarking um, on your own plan, you can also talk to people that have gone through it already. Maybe you have friends who have already done something that you are now beginning to try out for yourself. So you can do research by speaking with people that you know or contacting new people that you've never met but whom you identify through your social network. So uh, that's one way to research is to talk, uh, you know, look around, talk with people who have experience in the field of your interest and who have done what you want to accomplish so that you understand what they did and then you can identify which steps you want to adopt for yourself. Um, another way to do good research is to go online and everyone has access to the internet um, nowadays and you can go online and um, look around. There are always going to be so many sources of information for the majority of things that we want. So use the internet uh, with caution, but really look at the sources of information dig around, investigate, and gather your data from different sources so that you can compare. And in the end, your subconscious will synthesize everything that you are reading and learning, and it will give you a unified message of what works well for you. And um, yeah, so basically that is research. And the third way to do really good research is to read books. Uh, books are an incredible source of knowledge and learning and you can never stop learning from books. So go to the bookstore or the library and pick up some books that are related to the field that you care about. And as an example, if you are interested in your fitness or you want to improve your body or your physical condition, then you would look for books that are geared in the subject area of what you want to accomplish. So if you want to eat clean, then you would go to the bookstore and look for eating clean books. And in the same way, you would talk to friends or contacts who already eat clean or eat healthy and learn about what they're doing and how you can do it too. And online, there are gazillions of sources, so you can go online and um, just do that research and identify different sources of what it means to eat clean or eat healthy or eat natural and then recipes if you want to do that. That is just an example, but it's the same for anything that you want to accomplish. If you want to start your own business, then you want to speak with people who already have their own business and see how they did it and uh, learn about their lifestyle, learn about the challenges and the achievements and what kind of a future you can expect for yourself 
and you know that's really critical research to do as well and you would also research what other companies are doing in the field that you're interested in you would i am um, you would research what the market is like and you would do other research by reading books from authors who have done their own business and learn in that way and this is like a three-pronged strategy for you to begin your journey in whatever it is that you want and um, you know if this is true as i said for any area of life it's true for relationships for developing language skills or if you're moving to a new country or you want to move to a new country then research plays a huge factor and the power of research is that it's really you know it's really rich because it will it will help you learn more things for sure. It will expand your awareness. It will create some new thoughts. It will get you to think in new ways. It will open your mind to new possibilities and it will really empower you so that you feel stronger and more confident, more informed about going forth and executing your plan or your strategy. And you know, once you do your research, then you really know, you have a better idea of where to go next. You know, what's the next step? Sometimes on our journeys, we get frustrated or upset because we don't know what to do next. We feel confused. And so you can solve this yourself by doing some research, reading more, learning more, you know, go on YouTube and watch more videos about what you care about, learn more. And the more we learn, the more we have awareness and the more we know. And the more we know, we have greater clarity about what to do next, what the next step is. And this just really highlights the idea that you have to first take, you have to take the first step in order to take the next step you know you have to build on it so research is the foundation of your personal journey to your goals i hope this helped and i mentioned i was going to share two powerful tips but i started talking about research and it really just you know it's a really wonderful topic so in the next video i will make it about the second very powerful tip that will prime you for success and it is related to the words that we speak and the things that we affirm. So I leave it at that and I'm wishing you beautiful moments ahead full of joy and happiness and health and inner peace. And see you next time. Bye.